Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR Direct Daytona Crew Part Number Seventy Nine. We're we'll be going to Bristol in this part, and I like to apologize in advance for the Michigan race being like a short part. I was gonna have it be two races, but considering that NASCAR and I was uploaded the same day as that, I thought that would be um, like okay to leave it at that length because you would have NASCAR Nine, which is like almost normally double the length of of these races on average so that's why i did it i i normally like i get why people i don't know i just i hope you're okay with that i don't know i just that was my decision so i thought that'd be more interesting so bristol i'm i'm assuming it's going to be because it's a it's it's just like martinsville but not as bad so uh, we finished good in Michigan. Uh, nothing to upgrade in the car. We're still a ways from that. I did a little bit of practicing before I got into the race as a moth just flew by my camera. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I did a little bit of practicing just to get a feel for the track again. So, we'll see what we got in uh, qualifying. The car's better since then. So, or since the last time we went to Bristol. So, I'm expecting to run better. So, let's get qualifying underway and see where we start. Off turn four, good lord, this car is on edge, and that was a 16.3, which I think is a decent lap for myself. I think the pole was a 15.7, so we're actually not horribly off the pace. Yeah, 15.7 by Mark Martin. But yeah, as you saw, the car is just... I, I have to burp the throttle just that little bit in the corner, or else the car is just going to really just whip sideways. So it's on that edge. I think the car now, we just need to have... Um, there's an exhaust upgrade that I think will help with the with the car. It will give us, it'll it'll certainly give us more speed, but I think the handling will be better in that regard, to my knowledge. Also, it's the cheapest out of the four to, to pick from. So, hey, P15, I'll take a game, but... Oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna have to really be careful in the corners, because it seems like it wants to wreck, so... Uh, that, that shouldn't be too hard, because... Well, this is gonna be hard when we're going 30 miles an hour on a banking that's like 100 degrees here that's not even realistic at all but hey 17 laps at bristol and just keep it on the bottom and there we go but we only lost one spot just burp the throttle burp it oh okay we're good we're, we're good all right that was a calm very quiet first lap i think i can gain more throughout the run as long as i just don't push it too hard side of Dave Blaney for a 15th spot seems like like a couple of tracks where you can get into the corner pretty well but the set I think the center off might hurt us but other than that it seems to be okay again it's just you see the car is just out of control at least it's manageable but man it just looks it looks terrifying from from a viewer perspective I imagine why am I die bombing it in here well, it, it worked. It almost worked. Actually, it did work, but man, that was... <laughs> that was just... I was one tier away from being really, really stupid. But it worked. And now we're in 14th. Here we go. Another spot to get by Kenseth. And it actually worked. Holy crap. <laughs> that was terrifying. I really didn't think I was gonna... It, it, when I hit the brakes, it went straight. <laughs> and that's, that's scary on its own. And lead lap cars are catching lap down cars, so this might be a problem here. So that's never fun. So I'll be trying to be pitting with at least one lap to go in the fuel tank just in case something happens. Because I don't want to be trapped a lap down. So I want to stay out as as long as I almost can. We're going to get to the outside of these cars who are slow. And we do get by them no problem. And we'll go to the outside of this car. Robbie Gore and Tony Stewart are for position. So... Yeah, we almost have a nearly a top 10 car, so that's also really good, so... Oh god, John Wood. Oh my god, split Clear the middle. That actually was pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, and there we go, P12. Uh, my heart... Oh, sorry, Tony. My heart stopped for a second, but we're good. And... I think... I, I want to say we can chill, but I don't think so. Oh, sorry, Tony. Sorry, Robbie. Hey, you want to get pinned down there, be my guest, but... I'm not doing it. 23 to go. 
six in the fuel or is it eight? I can't tell. Uh, is it going to go down to five or seven? Uh, well, we'll just wait. We'll just wait. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. <gasps> okay. Okay, it went down to five. Okay. So, the only thing I'm not too sure of is, is pit road, like, for me, like, in the front stretch or the back stretch. That I don't know. I'm, nor in other games, it's always the front stretch. So, I'm banking on that being the case here as well. We'll be getting in the next couple laps anyways. But, it's nice to see the car have speed. I mean, granted, lap down cars are probably making this a lot more... More terrifying, but oh my god, it's nice to actually, you know, oh my god, for the poor car, Jesus Christ, it's just, it's, just, it's got to stop being so wiggly wobbly in the back end. All right, well, whoa, thank you. oh my god. Okay, I was gonna say we almost got, we got by Tony in the lap car, but that was almost disaster. I'll be pitting next lap, so that's my plan. This freaking moth in my room! I just dipped the outside wall because of the moth. Thank you. Okay, that's the halfway mark. All right, I'll be pitting this lap no matter what. Well, I just you know take right side tires, probably repair damage because this doesn't seem like the car is gonna be affected by it too much. Start slowing down. And there we go. You're in the wrong pit lane. Thank, thanks, game. Thanks, game, for. Why couldn't it come up as soon as I even dipped down there? No, let's just chill around the track for a little bit longer. Son of a bitch! God damn it! There, there goes my my race. There goes my race. It's done. It's fucking horseshit. Damn it! Come on. Get the fuck out of pit road! Damn, I already have a shit enough race as is. Come on! God, he's just... Just just add insult to injury. I just merge on the track. Thankfully, there's nobody on the racing surface, but that... Our top 15 run. That's out the window now. Well, black cars just get out of the fucking way. Just ridiculous. Well, as the cycle of pit stops are still kind of going on, we're up in the 29th right now. I don't know when it'll stop or end, but I do know I have a at least a fast enough car to gain some of these spots back. So I, I don't know what to really expect to finish now, but I am a lap down, so that doesn't help. We did get by Elliott Sadler, no problem. Drift a little bit off turn two. And I guess all the pit stops are done, so we're cycled back to the 27th, which fucking sucks. Still there. There's a spin in turn one. Oh, there's an actual wreck. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't. I don't know what happened there, but... Oh my god, I got through it all. I think I gained some spots in the process, so that helps. That was weird. I was trying to slow up a little bit, and Junior just... Oh, another spin turn two. All right, are we getting are we in shit show territory right now? I mean, I guess that'll be good for me. I just don't know how many cars are on the lead lap and how many are lap down. But I, I mean, it, it was gonna help for for a bit, but I guess not. Uh, God, I'm just disappointed in myself. And it's not even, and the sad thing is too, like I practice going down pure and everything. I just simply just made a mistake at which pit entry to go to. That that's just what it all boils down to. And I feel Carlo, stupid. But no, that's nothing new for me, though. Carlo. Car high. Okay, we're gonna get by Hermie All Sadler, so... Up in 25th, and now we got Bobby Hamilton and Dale Jarrett is in 23rd. Wow, that's actually, that's bad for, for Dale Jarrett's standards. Oh, no. We just give Robbie Gore a bump, who's actually, I guess, a lap ahead of me. Isn't I, I think I was racing for him at some point. Or we just run him over. That, oh my god, I'm sorry. I thought I could get in there just that little bit deeper and 
And my dog's freaking out. How oof. How dare I? How dare I do anything in this in this house? Oh, white flag. Oh, okay, you know what? I deserve that because I kinda screwed him up there. God, this this sucks. This fucking sucks. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose money out of this a lot too and God damn, I just can't believe I screwed up that damn bad. Now the car doesn't freaking turn. We're gonna end it. There we go. Oh my god, what a mess. Uh, we're two laps down. Wow. Oh my god. It just didn't know what the fucking pitch stall is. $3,300. So, oh man, that's I'm just swimming in income. And 15000 in repair fees. So even if I had a clean car, that wouldn't have been too much of a, of a race. I did notice the race multiplier thing didn't go... Didn't add anything. So I wonder if I finish like... Like better, it adds more to that bonus. I, I I don't know. Comment section help. That's a that's a good question. I actually don't know. So I do see we're twenty second in the standing. So somehow, some way, we gained on Skinner. So that's good. Eighty six points back from Schrader and Marlin, who's just been pretty much top five, top ten the entire season with Tony Stewart with five wins. So yeah, because of Bristol and how that went, I I am not satisfied to end this part on that note. We're gonna be doing Darlington. I think that's the next race, so we'll, we'll see what happens, because, I mean, I, I haven't practiced, so I might suck a little bit. If there's that chance that I can finish better, I'm going to take it, even if it's risking my practice sessions that I'm trying to do now for this game. I'll turn four. Yeah, I I uh, went full throttle in turn one, and that's not a good idea. Right, we two, we're like two seconds off, almost two seconds, I think, from the pole, and we're eleventh. And or never mind. Oh, God! Nineteenth, I'll take it, considering we freaking obliterated the wall. I'll, I'm, I'm not gonna do that in race trim, but if we have a decent enough car, we should be able to get up through the field, no problem. Or at least you know, run where we should. So we'll just see what happens here. And green flag is out. So I'll pit on lap 13. This is the Southern 500, so this is a long race. So I have a lot of time to move up through the field as I almost run a tear Labani. And the poor frame rates are dropping like just drastically. Poor. I just I can't believe it. It just can't handle it. All right, we're gonna try to take our time in turn three. Just, just—that's that's the that's the key for this race. Take our time. It's a 26-lap race. There's there, there's a lot of time to move up to the field. So we did gain two spots in the start of the race. I don't know how to go slow into turn one because I, you know, destroyed the wall in qualifying. So I have no, I, it's either I have a very big gap in like what I need to do in turn one. So it's from either going extremely slow or hitting the wall. I did not find a middle ground in qualifying. At least turn three I have an idea. Oh, almost hit Dave Blaney. But we're good. We're in the top 15. There's no wrong pit lane to go in here, so I shouldn't have a... <laughs> shouldn't make any big mistakes. I'm not going to go three wide in turn one. Nope. I'm not going to do it, game. It's, it's like it's a gift for... It's like, ooh. Ooh, God. For a split second, I win there too hard. Oh, oh now I'm going to go three wide no matter what. Is the universe just trying to punish me or something? Like, oh, dog frog, frog, freaked out again. What, what, what am I doing? That's freaking her out. I'm just talking. Am I, is my voice just that, just absolutely ungrad, like grating? Or, man, like, not only do I wake up every day thinking I'm a piece of shit, the dog thinks I'm that too. So that's, that's great. There we go. We'll get to the inside, Dave Blaney. Move ourselves up into twelfth. So that seems to be about the position we should be running. Pretty much like Bristol, we're almost at the top 10, like, consensus, consensus, consecutive, please, please, universe, let me talk, consecutively, consistently, whatever word I was trying to say, I was trying to merge the words together, and I, oh my god, alright, I'm gonna shut up and focus.
Good run off turn four. We finally caught up to Kurt Busch. I really didn't think I was even going to be able to catch him, let alone uh, pass him, as I'm just going to botch turn one. Thanks, thanks, you know. Why, why do I even bother fucking talking in this series? I should just have it be a silent let's play so I cannot make fucking mistakes, because that's what screwed me over, was me talking like a jackass. Couple laps later, we moved ourselves up in the 15th. I have front bumper damage from when I slightly touched Terry Labani. Other than that, it was it's been a clean run since the last time I was talking. I'm just mad at myself because a lot, is, like, just like like it's 80 percent of, of all the bad luck that happens to me is just my fault. It is really fucking frustrating because it's just shit that could be avoided. But whatever, we're we're still running good, still a long race. I think we can gain back up to 11th when we do pit. So I'm gonna repair the damage too because it doesn't seem like it's gonna take too much time. But if I can save even a uh, like thousand dollars in the earnings and whatnot, that would be great. So I'm gonna do that. So we'll be pitting this lap. So I'm just gonna shut up and try to get around lap traffic because I don't want to fuck this up. Okay, pit road time. We're gonna start slowing down as soon as we get into turn three. Off the racing surface. There we go. And 45 something. Alright, that was way too slow. Thank you. Okay. So we'll take that. Two tires, repair damage will be in and out. And we should maybe even cycle above a few people because that was not a bad stop. All things considered, that was a pretty decent stop. About an 8 second stop like normal. Actually, it's 10. ten. Okay. We did, we did put in uh, the max amount of fuel as possible because. There would be like another 13 some odd laps to go. So that probably is why it took a little bit longer. The, re the repair damage thing didn't pop up. So I don't think that really attributed to any of the time. But decent decent pit stop. I'm getting better, comment section. I'm, I'm getting better. And now if I just stop making mistakes, I, I can probably uh, start getting top 10s more often. But I just keep screwing myself over. Is this car going to pit? Okay, I guess not. I just want to bring it home top 15. That would be nice. That that that's honestly, I'll take that. I will gladly take that after Bristol. That's where I should have finished at Bristol, but no, I had to screw myself. So, please, racing gods, give me a top 15 here when this is all cycled out. A bunch of cars down pit road that will gain us a good amount of spots back, so that kind of clears my conscience oh, a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. I'm just kind of surprised they can stay out that much longer because I mean, I really only had maybe about really one or two laps left of fuel and it's been more than two laps since I last left pit road so I, I'm just amazed they can just stretch it that much longer than me. More cars down pit road and we're in 18th at the moment. I don't know if that's the last of the green flag pit stops or what but if we seriously lost three spots um hmm maybe a little bit salty about that because I thought I would at least keep the same sort of spot I had before. And don't do that. I just did the same shit I did to him in the first half of the race. And I just completely ran him over. I'm so sorry. God damn it. Ah, I hate I hate it when I freaking wreck people like that. And my right side tire is fucked up. So. Oh my god. I hate. I like this game sometimes. But Jesus Christ almighty. The contact physics are just ridiculously sensitive. Still there. Okay, this this will work. Just throw it into turn three. I can feel the car not having anywhere near as much grip as it once had. Could be that tire damage. Because it is, I'm assuming it's going to be warm, but it's going to get a lot more warm because there's that, that suspension in that area is a little bit damaged, so the tire's going to burn off a lot more there, which is not good, to put it lightly. So at least we got back in the P15, so that's, that's nice. I don't think I can catch Elliott Sadler or Dale Jr., so I think 15th is where we're going to stand. Okay, Jeff Gordon has mechanical fish fishers. What? Okay, P13, P14, I'll take it. Thank you, game. That was nice of you. Thanks, Jeff Gordon, for having problems. Well, white flag's out one more time around. The leaders have already crossed the finish line, so at least we're going to be on the lead lap. But yeah, that this is just another race where, I mean, I ran pretty good. Just I just keep making mistakes. Like... That incident with Kurt Busch, I lost so much time because of that. I could have at least maybe have gotten 10th 
I think I just keep screwing myself. That's just I don't know. Just I don't know. Well, that that's not bad. That's a that's a good rebound from Bristol. So I, I that that's good in the grand scheme of things. That's good. So yeah, I think we gained some points on. I don't even know who's ahead of us. Not Skinner anymore. Schrader? I think so, because I did just finish ahead of him. So, yeah, Good run for ourselves, all things considered. And Marlin had problems, too, as well as Jeff Gordon. So that's... Wow. This is weird. After the race, we get 85,000. So again, another very good amount. And look at that. We get the, the multiplier um, thing. Which is, again, interesting that when I got 26 at Bristol, it didn't count it. But here it did. So I kind of wonder, like, how high do I need to finish for that to be... Uh, in there or be factored so that'll be really interesting if the comment section get answered that for me so uh, we got 14th we're still 22nd in the standings Sadler I think gained on me a little bit in the, in the points but we're only 80 something back we only gained like three points on traders so it's not a big gain but even like well, I also factor into I didn't do a race so I could have even leapfrogged him and maybe even Bobby Hamilton so yeah, I, that's, but it, it was, I still, I'm still glad I went with that truck race because I did gain a lot of money and even still, um, cup races have been very up and down with earnings. So we're at nine, uh, 969,000. So we're almost about 200,000 away, roughly, or 150,000 away for the next part. So we're going to a truck race next, which is really good because I can guarantee finishing well and gaining money as well as doing the cup race at Richmond. And yeah, so next part will be kind of a traditional truck and cup race. So that will be fun to see how that kind of transpires. A big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters, the Dan Reynolds, Ron Hoffer, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazard, Michael Harrison, Dave, 500 Champ 15, Jeff Gordon, Zach Rogers, Race News Now, Alan Gray, Matthew Murray, Stephen Willie, ATF Gaming, and Sim Race with Yells and White for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your support and contribution to the channel. It does mean a lot to me and I just I am so freaking grateful for what you guys have uh, done and contributed and it just means a lot see you all next part for uh, two Richmond races it will be a truck one on Thursday and then Saturday's the cup race so Richmond's normally been notoriously easy in this game so I'm expecting to at least have a breakout run in the cup side of things so we can actually maybe finish decent so we might have really like two good races of like nice payouts so that's what I'm expecting so and then maybe by the end of the next part, we can upgrade the, the, the exhaust. So, yeah. I'll see you all later. And as always, why did I say that with an accent? What? I, I literally said that with an accent. I, I can't do that normal. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone.